Hello chemists and welcome to Bale's Chemistry. In this episode we're going to look at how to calculate pH and the four different situations you need to be able to work with. This is AQA specification 1.12 acids and bases and is on paper one of your final exams. When we think about pH we often think about the universal indicator scale for measuring pH and what it's actually measuring is the concentration of hydrogen ions in solution. But to make these numbers easier to deal with as the range can be quite broad the concentration is placed on a logarithmic scale using this equation. In this example, we've got the concentration of hydrogen ions at 0.25 moles per decimeter cubed. And we can use the equation we've just looked at, add in the values, do the calculation to give us a pH of 0.6. Now, with your calculator, you'll want to use the button shown here in red with a minus sign and the button shown here in green for your log. If we want to reverse this process, it's quite simple. We can calculate the hydrogen ion concentration from the pH value. We do this just by doing the 10 to the power of the minus pH. We can work this back looking at this example where we're given a solution of a pH of 4 to give us a concentration of hydrogen ions of 1 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per decimeter cubed. Again, with using our calculator, we can speed up the function by using this button on the calculator where we use shift first and then press the log button, which actually gives us 10 to the power of a number and we can just type the number in that we need. So all we need to do to calculate pH is to calculate the concentration of hydrogen ions present in solution. We then use the equation we just looked at to come up with the pH value. This is going to be split into four different examples for the AQA specification. We're going to look at monoprotic acids and diprotic acids, weak acids and strong bases. We'll start with a monoprotic acid. Monoprotic acids have only one proton. They are strong acids and they fully dissociate. Examples of this are hydrochloric acid and nitric acid. So then the concentration of the acid is equal to the concentration of hydrogen ions. This makes working out the concentration of hydrogen ions really easy. Diprotic acids contain two protons. If we assume they are strong acids and they fully dissociate, an example of this would be sulfuric acid. Then the concentration of the hydrogen ions will be equal to twice the concentration of the acid. Weak acids present a further complication as the dissociation of hydrogen ions is not complete. As they form an equilibrium, we can use the acid dissociation expression to calculate the concentration of H+. We're going to make the assumption that H plus equals A minus and therefore we can use H plus squared in its place. Rearranging the equation to give us h plus squared, we could go further with this and simplify it to add the square roots, but we're going to leave it as it is for now. If we consider the example of a 1.5 mole per decimeter cubed solution of ethanoic acid with a Ka value of 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5, we can use our rearranged equation and substitute in the numbers to find a value for h plus squared. We can then do the square root to find our final answer. Strong bases present a slightly different scenario, which are in some ways simpler than the weak acid example we just looked at. We can assume that the concentration of base is equal to the concentration of hydroxide ions in solution. And then using the KW expression, we can calculate the concentration of H+. In this example, where we have a 0.5 mole per decimeter cubed solution of sodium hydroxide, we can use the rearranged equation for KW, substitute in the numbers, and calculate that there's a hydrogen ion concentration of 2 times 10 to the minus 14 moles per decimeter cubed. Just to quickly review these four different examples for calculating the hydrogen ion concentration. Strong monoprotic acids are the easiest, as the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to the concentration of the acid. For strong diprotic acids, the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to twice the concentration of the acid. For weak acids, we need to use the Ka expression for acid dissociation. And for strong bases, we use the Kw expression to go from a hydroxide ion concentration to a hydrogen ion concentration. Remember you to combine calculating the hydrogen ion concentration with calculating the pH for many exam questions. That's it for this episode. It's worth taking a bit of time to practice the examples shown here as this topic continues to build on these ideas and it's important that you've got a good understanding of them. If you found this video useful, please hit the thumbs up below and for more of the acids and base videos, click the link on the screen now. Thanks for watching.